this demonstration, we're going to show you how to build a new web application with Total Visual Builder Cloud Service. The application we're going to build is going to manage expenses for our organization. We can choose a template and a look and feel for our application from some previously provided templates, or we can add our own UI template. And then we can define the top navigation menu for our application. Those are the main areas for our application. We're then taken into a visual editor when we can visually click on items and modify their properties. For example, upload a new logo for our application. And on the left side, we have a bunch of components that we can drag and drop onto the page to design our interface. For example, we can choose one of our layout components to divide the layout of the page into two areas and then drop a table into the left one. We're going to connect the table into a business object that we're creating now on the fly. This is the expense business object that we're creating, and we're adding a bunch of fields that track data for this object. So for example, we can add a name and a cost, and each field can have a different data type. Let's add one more field to track whether the expense requires an approval. This is going to be a Boolean field. Now that our fields are defined, we can define which operation we want to provide on the object and which operations we want to have on the table in the user interface. For example, filtering and sorting. Our application is now ready to run. Click on the Run button, allow you to create new records and populate the business object. We created a full CRUD application that allows you to look at the data, query it, create new records, edit existing records like we're doing right now, and even delete records. All of this from just dropping one table on the page. Let's go back into the edit mode and modify our user interface. For example, we can add a set of charts into our application. In this case, we're adding a donut chart and connecting it to the same business object and choosing which values we want to show in the chart. We can further customize the chart using the properties on the right side. Using our live preview mode, we can click on a button to navigate to the next page. This is the create page and we can modify this page. Here we're adding one more field into the user interface, which also adds the field to the business object. In this case, we're adding a field that is going to be a list of value. So we're providing a lookup a table and a set of values that are uh, possible to choose from this lookup. These are various types of expenses and various categories. So we can have lodging, food, travel, and others. This list of value can then be reorganized based on our preferences, and it's automatically connected to the drop-down list available in the user interface. When we now run the page, we can insert the details about another expense report, and this time we'll be able not just to choose the fields from before, but also add the value for the new field that we just created from the list. Our charts indicates now the new data showing up both in the table and in the chart. We worked with a visual editor. Now let's work with a business data editor. Over here, we can see the business objects we created and we can modify them. We can modify fields and we can also add business logic to our application. For example, we're going to add a specific check and a specific value set for expenses that are expensive. We define a trigger to happen in a specific event, in this case, when we insert a new expense, and then we're going to edit this trigger. We have a visual flow where we can define the flow of our logic. The first step that we're going to do is going to be a condition. This condition is going to check if the expense is expensive. And over here, we can use a simple interface to define our conditions for when the next step is going to happen. Then we're going to define what is going to happen when the expense is indeed expensive. And in this case, what we want to do is require an approval. So we're going to update the record 
and we're going to set the value of a specific field. As you can see, those types of business logic can be done in a declarative way using Visual Builder Cloud Service. Let's return to the page navigator and run our application now. We're going to add another expense, and this time we're going to make sure that the expense is actually one that conforms to the expensive scenario, just to make sure that our business logic works. Notice that we left the approval field empty, and when we save the data and go back to the list, we are going to see a checkbox check mark next to the specific record we just added. So our business logic works. Visual Builder Cloud Service has built-in responsive behavior. Over here you can see how the user interface is going to behave on a small mobile device. We can fine-tune this behavior. For example, in this case, we're going to change the table to display as a list when we're in a phone on portrait mode. Now you can see how the user interface looks on a small device or on a bigger screen. User interface adjusts accordingly. Let's go over to the um, edit page. Okay. Over here we're going to add a piece of information that is coming from an external system. To do this, we're going to add a new service from our service catalog as a source of data for our application. Visual Builder Cloud Service is pre-populated with a list of services coming from Oracle SaaS applications. In addition, you can add your own service. We picked up a service from the catalog, and then we're going to pick a specific object from the returned objects that this service provides. We can map specific fields that we want to show, and even give them different titles and define the security we're using to access the REST service. Now we can go back to the UI, drag a drop-down list, and connect it to the object and the service we just defined. This is how simple it is to integrate your data with data coming from external systems, in this case Oracle SaaS. Let's run our application now and go and edit one of the records. As you can see, now we can choose a value for this list coming from Oracle SAS. Once you're happy with the results of your development, you can take your application through the life cycle, including a testing environment with a stage step, and the real production environment through the publish step. This provides access to your application for your users. This is how simple it is to develop an application with Visual Builder Cloud Service.